Should you study Master of Environmental Management at the University of New South Wales? Maybe you have passion, interest or even commitment to nature and want to transfer this theoretical ideal into something practical, something real, something like job, career or profession. But perhaps you don't have undergraduate qualification in a related field. Well, if that's you, it was exactly how I was about nine years ago before enrolling. So in this video, I want to share with you what was my journey, some thought patterns before enrolling. Then I will tell you what were the units covered during the course. And after I'll share with you what was my professional environmental journey. Let's do it. Hi, I'm Jan from sustainablebutterflies.com.au on a mission to make Australian educational and care organizations sustainable, frugal and improve their carbon footprint. So let's go back before enrolling. Now, and if you want to become dentist, you study dentistry. If you want to become an accountant, you study accounting. If you want to become an engineer, you study engineering. But if you have a vague idea of helping the environment and you love nature, what do you actually do? Now, my undergraduate was in Bachelor of Business Administration. So I thought that the only relevant and logical masters is MBA. And it never actually occurred to me to focus on something that I like. I had just this narrow mindset of it's got to lead to a job and making lo lots of money, right? But fortunately enough, my ex back then was very wise and smart. And she warned me against this mindset. She said, no, no, no. You got to really think about what resonates with you and what you love and then pursue that. Because potentially you might be doing it your whole life. So imagine if you do something that you hate or don't like or, you know, don't feel strongly about and uh, doing it for the rest of the life, even if you make money, you'll be, you'll be uh, disappointed. So I'm so grateful I got this advice. It was very, very helpful. So I had a look at all the master degrees uh, offered around Sydney and this one stood out because it was fairly broad and also it, had, uh, it was close to me and it's a very good institution, university. Okay. Now let's look at the units offered. Now the course was completed within two years part-time. And the units that you see on the screen are not in any particular order. It's a mixed bag of core, fundamental knowledge and elective courses. Now, the ones in bold, uh, I would like to comment on just briefly. So the frameworks, as the name suggests, frame the whole concept of environmental management. It's like the lens through which you see everything that comes after. It's fairly broad and theoretical. Now, Tools, on the other hand, are very specific. Things like how do you do environmental impact statement, environmental impact assessment, uh, how do you assess contaminated site, how do you do site audits, how do you write a corporate social uh, responsibility policy. It's very much focused on audits, report and assessments. So that's tools. Managing greenhouse gas emissions was delivered by Dr. Mark Diesendorf and back then his book Sustainable Energy Solutions for Climate Change was our textbook published in 2014. This is very specific course and uh, it looks at how Australia can transition towards 100% renewable energy and Mark Diesendorf backs it up with calculations and his research and he busts many myths, such as that we need fossil fuels and also that we need baseload power. So this was a big eye-opener. And look what's going on around the world. We are transitioning towards renewable energy, even in Australia. Another eye-opener for me was economics, because it tells you how do you address environmental issues, sustainability, within the framework of economics. It also introduces other theories such as environmental economics, ecological economics or steady state economics. But our dominant uh, neoclassical economics, which is the current one, supply demand uh, measured by the GDP growth, 
uh, there, there are challenges with this framework, right? When we're talking about the environment. For example, if you clear a primeval rainforest, your GDP will go up that year because you sell the timber and it, it's, it's pretty good for balance sheet. But what about future generations? What about biodiversity? What about other communities? What about all the plants and animals? What about the culture? It's invisible on the balance sheet. And there are many challenges with this framework. So this, is, this economics actually tells you how do you align these two, which might not necessarily be aligned, how do you align? And it equips you with tools of addressing environmental issues through the economic lens. And ecosystem management involved a trip to Blue Mountains. We went there for four days and spent time with the rangers walking around the park and learning about how do you conserve land and what are the challenges with it. You know, if it's next to an urban development or next to the city, how do these two coexist so that you still protect nature and environment but also allow people in? How do you manage feral animals, people movement, litter, what is the bush, bushfire risk and other issues? Okay, now what about the students? There were two groups of students. The larger group, about two-thirds, were working professionals. Lawyers, engineers, business managers, or IT. And they, in my, my observation was that they want to give their existing career a green environmental frame. So that was two-thirds. And one-third, and back then I was international student, that one-third were generally younger, without career, and they, or with career they didn't like, and uh, they were doing this course, MEM, in order to become environmental professional. At least that was my uh, impression, and I was in that group. And the good thing about this course, at least for me, was that the most of the students were domestic local students. Uh, it wasn't one of these courses where you only have international students speaking their language. So that was definitely a plus, at least for me. We worked out what we want to study, then we studied it. And now what are we doing with it? That's the most important part, isn't it? So what about the jobs, careers, professions? What do you do with Master of Environmental Management? Now, after many years of volunteering and few internships, I was quite lucky. Because while I was still at uni, I got a job as an environmental sustainability officer. The job was advertised through the university intranet. And the company was a childcare company. And they were looking for an environmental sustainability officer to make their childcare centers more sustainable. With special focus on lowering electricity usage and waste. So I got the job. And after one year, that job became a national sustainability manager role, which was awesome. And I was in the job for six years. It gave me lots of experience. Now with that experience in March 2020, I founded my first, and hopefully this will be the one, but who knows, uh, sustainability consultancy called Sustainable Butterflies, specializing in educational and care organizations in Australia and focusing on early childhood centers and schools just due to past experience and uh, might do specialist schools and aged care moving forward but i don't know yet we'll see and this is first year year and a half including the pandemic the business started in march 2020 same time as the lockdowns it is slowly gaining momentum. It's a lot of work. It's a big roller coaster, but overall I'm enjoying the process and I'm grateful for this course, MEM at UNSW, which allowed me to open my eyes in the right way and guided me through. Because that course is, while it's very good, it's also very broad, which some people might consider as generic. And what do you do with such a broad course? But I see it as a, as a good thing because the way it's structured, you've got to do your core units and then fundamental knowledge, which some of them you can guide towards your pre-existing qualification or interest. And the electives, obviously you choose whatever you want to do. 
So you can kind of structure it based on what you like or what resonates with you. So I definitely am grateful and I definitely recommend it. So anyway, thanks for your time watching and if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer, let me know. Uh, sustainablebutterflies.com.au, the link is in the description and have a great day.